Come here, butterfly. Come here. Come here. Get over here, you butterfly. Hey. Come here. Hey! Come here. Come here, butterfly. Come here. Hey, here's, here's, here. Oh, he got away. Got away. He got away. Dear butterfly. I'll get you! I did it! I finally made it up here. It's been five years and I've been coming up here. I used to be in a wheelchair. The doctor said I wouldn't walk again because of my diabetes. And uh, I was considered a vegetable for a long time until I woke up uh, out of my dream. I was inspired by myself in a dream to wake out of the dream. And I came up here and I proved them wrong. I walked out of a wheelchair. I was in a diabetic coma. I lost both my legs. And now I have the fake legs, the metal legs that people use. And I'm up here. They said it was impossible. The doctor said I couldn't do it. But here I am, out of a diabetic coma, ready to live. Yes. So I'm going up this hike on this hill and I'm going to um, make a bunch of videos. It's a good idea, you know? Like get up there, get a different view so you're not like in your house, you know, you, you're like, I don't know, man. It's just a cool way to make videos. So I'm going to go up there and I'm just going to like, whatever I think about, I'm going to get exhausted and I'm going to fucking be pushing myself and I'm just going to make videos. And it's funny because it's like, I'm fucking making these videos hiking and my mind, it'll alter my mind state when you're doing it. So it's different than if you just make videos at home or something, you know, or you're just sitting there and you're making videos because your mind will sort of. I don't know it's weird it's like different it's like it makes a different kind of video so that's what i'm gonna do i did this before a few times i'm gonna go up there again today see what i can do hey guys i'm uh sorry to say but i don't think i'm gonna make it i got squished by a bicycle and i'm not feeling too great over here and just go on without me just go on without me, all right? It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Don't scroll away. Don't scroll away. Hey, just want to let you know that your ego and your anger, everything that you think is going on with pop culture, this or that, it's really not helping, like, the planet. You know, the planet's being destroyed. Smog addiction you know all this stuff that we just obsess over and it just makes us more of an animal to give into it and you know what the world needs more scientists you know what i'm saying and that's why i'm almost like fuck trying to be a rapper fuck trying to be an actor writer all that shit be a scientist of course scientists write too but you know the world needs more scientists. It's cool to like watch a Avengers superhero movie, you know, and they're all, you know, they, you always know how it's gonna end, right? They're always gonna win because the people want to see them win, you know? And they might go through trouble, they might, whatever. But really, you know, they're, they really, they, 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 they maintain it. But in real life, you know, there are no superheroes like that. 
but the real superheroes are people in like science and medicine and people that work and you know be a father and stuff like this so really what kind of superhero do you want to be you know that's what it, you should really do what you want to do like oh uh, even though people don't like you or they're gonna say things about you but you can't let that affect you you know you just have to keep on living and know like you have to have confidence that you're proud enough to know yourself and it's like you just gotta do it man you wanna you know you could live your whole life thinking in your head and not doing what you want to do and then and then one day you might just be like i should have did that but you know you shouldn't feel bad like you shouldn't like post something and be like oh no one's liking me you know you should just do it and just don't subject yourself to what other people want to make you into you know you got to think for yourself you know you know the thing about the world today is everything's competitive no matter what it is no matter what you're well, no matter what you're doing, it's all competitive. And a lot of people, they don't have time. Like, it sounds kind of messed up, right? But people don't really have time to be your friend. You know? They don't really have time. They're, like, they might be good people, but they gotta... Like, they're competing for themselves. You know? They're on their team. You know? And it's like, you got to play for your team, you know? Now, if you have other people that can help you that are, like, on your team, then, you know, that's good. But well, sometimes you're just a one-man team, and you got to do it yourself, you know? If you really think about everything we do, it's almost like people succeed right to become superstars <clears throat> some are you know underrated like they do things that they should be the ones on the billboards they should be the ones soaking up all the the credit but everyone wants to give credit and huge crowds to people that do music and people that do acting oscars emmys grammys you know all this shit right they get a lot of the attention. But you really look at the like scientists and, and people that are actually changing things, you know? To be a part of that, I think, is what the world would need to do to really change. Is like, make a scientist famous, you know? Yeah, keep doing it, man. Keep doing it, you know? Just because people talk shit, just because people don't like it keep doing it you know just keep on keep on trying you know have fun and shit don't let don't feel bad because of what other people are doing you know just focus on what you want to do and you don't really have to feel bad about any of it you just live you know just live your life and fuck all those people man but you gotta think smart you know you gotta think smart to win. And it can take a lot. Like, I don't wanna be the guy, but you do realize you can do more than just rap or make a beat. Dude, there's free software out there to do special effects. All right, then you might need a computer for that. But you can do the other things, you can animate. You can publish books for free nowadays. There are so many things you could write on too. You could write a book in a day. You can publish for free. Poetry, see, you're a rapper. You put all this, these lyrics into these songs, but you could publish a book too. You could publish a book with your lyrics in it. And that's what I've been doing. Cause I write poetry. I'm more of a poet than a rapper. Now you kind of have to know what the two are to really get it. But there is a difference. I'm, I'm more of a poet than a rapper. I've published like 
like 13 books on the Amazon, a lot of poetry collections, short stories. But a poet can be a lot of different things. It can mix into a lot of different art forms. But a poet, like a, a writing poet, you know, they, uh, that's what I kind of am. And I tried to rap and stuff, but I was more of a writer, more of a poet than a rapper. But I tried to rap. I started rapping three years ago. But really, I always wanted to be a writer. I always wanted to be a poet. I like poetry. I like, you know, using that as therapy. And I do love rapping too in the same sense, but I don't like to limit myself either. That's why I animate, I produce beats, I do special effects, I do all this different stuff because I love doing different things. Hey yo, is it illegal to kill a grasshopper on camera? Where's one at?